I've been playing a lot of my older games lately and it got me thinking. For some reason in the early 2000s, there was a weird obsession with centering video games around water. Take Nintendo's blockbuster titles in the early GameCube and Game Boy Advance days. Wind Waker built its entire map around the ocean, having the player sail across miles of sea to get from dungeon to dungeon. The Hoenn region introduced in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire infamously feature the most water routes in any Pokemon game and also include deep sea diving segments. And of course, Mario Sunshine takes place on a tropical island and builds its platforming around the core mechanic of spraying water. But it doesn't stop there. It seems that this water-themed generation was planned from the very start. The GameCube's pre-release project codename was Dolphin, and the Game Boy Advance's project codename was Atlantis. And outside of Nintendo, there are a ton of other examples of this extensive obsession with beaches and water in video games. So what's the reason for this? There are no concrete explanations for this phenomenon, but we can only point to history to make an educated guess for what was happening here. The sixth generation of consoles marked a huge improvement in 3D graphics for home consoles and 2D graphics for handhelds. And with this new power, game devs had to figure out the best ways to flex these newly found capabilities. Prior to this, the impressive improvements in consoles were pretty self-evident. With the jump from the NES to the SNES, devs utilized the expansive new color palette and the increase in sprite counts to supplement gameplay. And the jump from the SNES to N64 was obviously even easier to show off. But while the second generation of 3D consoles were obviously way better looking, it was difficult to communicate just how capable these systems were by just throwing some better textures in. So this was where water came into play. By centering these games around water, these game studios could effectively show off the better graphics while also introducing brand new ways in which 3D environments could be played in. And this is why I think Nintendo and other companies kind of leaned into this theme so heavily. They had conquered land in the previous generation, so it was a natural time to experiment with the sea to build up hype for what was to come. And you might I think that this water generation of gaming seems to be just a weird moment for the industry, but it really wasn't. We've seen most recently an emphasis on games building out massive worlds with mountainous, scalable terrain like Genshin Impact and Breath of the Wild, and it really boils down to the same reason. This type of world design lends itself to showcase the new capabilities of both the hardware and the games built on top of it. It's pretty you fascinating to see how hardware can affect trends in world design within the gaming ecosystem, and the beach days of the early 2000s are perhaps my favorite example of this. What were your favorite water-themed games from this era, and what do you think is coming next in terms of world design trends? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.